What's up everyone, I'm back to discuss X2 Total Body from P90X2. Now, first and foremost, let me start out by saying that this routine, in my opinion, is probably the most physically demanding of Phase 1. It just completely destroys me every time I do it. I do enjoy plyo side and x2 core and balance and power but total body just has an advantage over those routines it, this routine is awesome but the intensity is way up there in my opinion which is a pro for me definitely a good thing i love 
Tony's intense enthusiasm and I love the moves here but I'm gonna talk about that as we go on anyways so this routine is broken down into two rounds and what you're doing is you're repeating the total body by working six moves in those two rounds sorry let me correct myself you're actually doing four rounds of total body but you're breaking them into different chunks so like round one the one arm chest press followed by four position pull up followed by another chest move then after that you're doing like a shoulder move followed by a tricep move then a bicep move then after that you get a break which is like you could call that round one but it's not necessarily round one because after that you're repeating another set of total body which is following that same format chest back chest shoulder triceps biceps and you're repeating that four times man oh man when I'm done with this routine I, I am just exhausted from working the total body on top of it adding X2 ab ripper after when you're doing this routine Whew. very very tough combination so anyways let's just get down right to it there are a lot of tips for this workout tip number one lighten your load especially you guys I know you have egos and you wanna really crank out high weights you really wanna lighten your load and I'll explain you're doing bicep curls in like a warrior three position and also tricep kickbacks while balancing in warrior three lighten your load it is very important to lighten your load then when you get used to it you can increase your weights but just first time starting out it is very important to lighten your weight because if you do not put your ego at the door you're gonna be lifting like say 30 pounds and you're gonna fall over so lighten your load tip number two engage your core with every single exercise okay when Tony says flex it you really need to flex it and what I mean by that is you when you're doing that balance kickback on stability ball you need to really tighten up your core big time and then you need to lock out your your legs and stay calm in the face and start kicking back okay it's very important to engage your core especially on the warrior three curls and kickbacks as well if you're not engaging your core you're not going to be able to do the weight li lifting essentially also with the crunchy lever pull-ups you really want to engage your core because you're basically doing like a crunchy lever if you will but you know you're pulling your, yourself up like with the chin to the bar and you just really want to engage your core basically every single exercise just engage your core very 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 important tip number three okay stick with it that is my tip my last tip for this workout you really want to stick with every single exercise it will be very tough first time through trust me even I could not even keep my balance it has been at least probably two times since I did P90X2 and this is my third round of doing P90X2 still I find myself stumbling and fumbling when I'm doing those warrior three kickbacks and curls so just stick with it it'll get better okay this routine can be very tricky with a lot of people um, you can hear Tony in the background even saying on like round two with the warrior three kickbacks that he's really struggles with moves like that he said he would rather do a pull-up than doing that so 
Okay, that's my review for this workout. I will give this routine a solid 10 out of 10. Definitely my favorite from phase one and definitely the hardest, in my opinion, from phase one. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.